Good morning guys, it is 7 a.m. We done a little sneaky last night and set ourselves up in Adam's back room because it was freezing in the van. But doesn't matter, lack of sleep, we're up early. We're going to Milford Sound. I need some more sleep, man. So of all the places I traveled in New Zealand when I was here 10 years ago, Milford Sounds was one of the places I didn't make it to. So this is gonna be an exciting day, a good way to round up the trip with the boys. But for now, we've got a three and a half hour drive, so little nap I think and I'll pick you up when we get there. God damn. Quick stop off. Apparently this is called Knobs Flat. I don't know if Swivers is having me on. about my knob? <laughs> I don't know if they're having me on here. Well, mate, so, <laughs> I apologise if I've just offended anybody or if I've got this wrong, but my Google Maps ain't working, so we're going with Knobs Flat. The view is something else. All right, quick stretch of the legs. Back in vehicle, about an hour left to go. Touchdown Milford. I've got my jacket even though it's absolutely scorching so I might need to hide from the sun later. Sunscreen's on, sandwiches are packed. <laughs> Look at us, we're a family out in and if these views are anything to go by, we're gonna have an epic day. Today we will be traveling with Southern Discoveries. Look at this absolute weapon of a vessel. <laughs> I'm always at the back because I film everything and then end up running like a dickhead because I'm fucking late. Welcome to the school canteen. <laughs> Not quite what I was expecting. Oh, buffet service. I have a feeling I'm going to have to shout on this one because it's a bit of a noisy day. But the scenery is insane. Everywhere you look, we've only just set off panorama views surrounded by mountains. Everyone rushed to the top. But I think I found a little sneaky shortcut. Look at this. There's no one down the front of the boat. I think I know why. It's because it's a bit of a, a wind trap. You probably can't hear me, but check this out. <laughs> I feel like Captain Cook. He feels like Captain Pokemon. <laughs> The guy just said he'd they jump on the front there and just take the pressure all the way in, so we're kind of giving him a ride home. Oh. We're on an absolute wildlife tour here. We've got seals on the side now. some epic waterfall there, although Drive's got his foot on the accelerator. I'm not sure he's letting off. I think we might be going into it, lads. And Bosch, just like that, we're back on land. That was a lovely little trip out with the New Zealand family. We've got a three and a half hour drive back to Queenstown. I think we're gonna cook up a bit of feed and uh, see what we can do with the last 24, 48 hours in the South Island. How you getting on with them sand flies, boys? <laughs> <laughs> These boys have been battling against the sandflies, trying to swat them down all day. Ironically, we've stopped off at a spot called Sandfly Calf on the way home, but the cakes look incredible. <laughs> Go on, son, get it in, yeah? <laughs> That's a beast, isn't it? What will ultimately have a beast is the biodiversity of the uh... We're almost there, the views are still going, Smithers has just about woken up, and now we're possum spotting. We're on the hunt for some possum. How many fingers do you reckon the possum might have seen? 40? Oh, we'd have had to bring a trailer, I reckon. And just like that, <laughs> we're back in the kitchen. The boys have got it under control. Obviously, me and Matt are left on duty. Usually, I'm the chopper cleaner. Matt's on top of the pans. And Smithers, nowhere to be seen. He's gone for a shower. Oh, coincidence. It's like, oh, I'm just going to pop for a shower. We'll serve you dinner up, mate. Thanks for letting us use your home. Quality to go down, but then you have the burden. It's just like amazing. Yeah. Oi, oi, another day, another dollar. Well done, boys. Big shift. Sammy in the background. Hey! <laughs> All right, I think that's a wrap. Back on my little camp bed for the night. Uh, final day tomorrow in Queenstown, so I'm going to sign out. 
pick it up in the morning and uh, we've got to clean up the van, drop it off and then we're going to try and get up the luge hopefully and get to the top of Queenstown, sorry not the luge, we're going to try and take the gondola up to the top of Queenstown and then ride the luge all the way down but we'll see what happens, either way we've got another 24 hour with the boys and uh, yeah solid day, took it out of me but we go again, Good night. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a sad day. The morning has finally come. It's our final breakfast in the van. And to make it even harder, the rain has come too. Matt's up there getting the final little cereal bowl ready before we pack up the van and drop it off. What an epic two weeks it's been. I think we'll reflect on it a little later, but for now, I've just woke up and I need some food. <laughs> Right, let the games begin. We've got to somehow get this back to order. I'm going to start at this end. Here we go. Oh, it's really weird to be clearing it out. This has been our little home on wheels for exactly two weeks today. We've made some quality memories in it. We've froze to death in it. We've got wet in it. But it's been our little base and it's been solid uh, whilst traveling around New Zealand. Probably, I think, one of the easiest places in the world to visit by camper van. It's absolutely made for it. And we went all out. We, we definitely spent a bit more than we needed to in terms of the quality of RV, but it paid off. It's a once in a lifetime trip. And I think me and Matt definitely boxed it with this big old thing. All right, one last ride. Bit of an emotional one. Final 10 minute drive through Queenstown to drop our little home off. This has been the base. What a solid base for the past two weeks. It took us all over New Zealand. And now we've got the music on, we're looking out at the mountains, and it's time to say goodbye to the, the what is it, a Polaris? The Polaris 6, the big boy RV. All right, just like that, we're done, man. Time to say goodbye to the beast. What a journey, what an adventure. Just waiting for Smithers to pick us up now we head back to Queenstown for the night. Okay, Job done. Matt had a little back and forth with customer service. Got to get a bit of compensation for the soggy sheets, haven't we? we I'll tell you what, we won't be booking a star RV again, that's for sure. Anyway, enough of the RV chat. Oh, let's go have some that's fun. Jesus. <laughs> He's dropping it into the river. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay. Jesus Christ, man. Oh. Just head up straight. Oh, always a bit of fun with uh, Smither and Gale, innit? Thought we were popping out to the bakery, ended up halfway down the river. Oh, halfway <laughs> submerged. Good job we got that snorkel on board. <laughs> we are in Arrowtown now. Gonna grab a little bite to eat. Didn't expect to see this in New Zealand. It's like an old Wild West scene. Come down to Arrowtown, which is like an old uh, mining and prospecting area. I used to dig up back in the God knows when. It's a, a very interesting place. I feel like I'm, yeah, definitely on American soil right now. The colors from the autumn leaves are beautiful. Stopped off for a little little brunch with the boys. Quick eggs Benny at a place called Provisions of Arrowtown. And wait until you see the size of this thing. We are bouncing from spot to spot today. We're absolutely playing tourist. We've got tour guide Adam taking us round. And apparently, we're going up the gondolas, but before that, we're ticking off Kiwi Park. We've got to see a Kiwi, haven't we, whilst we're in New Zealand. They're absolutely impossible to catch in the wild. So we're gonna go and have a little explore. Yeah, not sure how I feel about that. Kiwi is in a little encounter there, and obviously I never buy into zoos or conservation areas or anything of the sort, because I try and see all animals in the wild as much as possible. I thought, oh, I've got to pop in. It's my only opportunity to see a kiwi. They're so rare to see out in the wild. And they always stay on the walls, don't they? It's a conservation area. They're trying to populate the kiwis in New Zealand and rehabilitate them before they get let out into the wild. But the little thing was just bopping around. It was pacing back and forward. Clearly not happy, clearly wanted to get out. Uh, but I guess that is all part of it. The forest and the, the whole park is very cool though. There's a lot of stuff on display and a lot of cool nature. So we're gonna have a little walk around, see what we can find. 
and we have ticked a kiwi off the bucket list. I've seen a kiwi, that's pretty cool. Oh, and my main point was, you're obviously not allowed to film in there. I didn't realise, the kiwis are nocturnal animals, so no filming, no flash photography, wasn't allowed to get any footage of the kiwi, but I saw it, and you can Google it. This is pretty cool. We've come into like a, a Kia cage. There were the little Kia birds that are just chilling, floating around. You can get quite close to them whilst they munch on their apples. That was cool. We went down to a little wildlife encounter. We had lorikeets, we had wood pigeons, we had possum, and a little weka bopping about. That was a quite a cool experience, man. We love that kind of stuff. Right, that was nice and slow and peaceful. Now let's get back to some adrenaline, shall we? Gondor up, luge down. Come on, lad. Jog, jog it in, mate. Jog it in. Get in. <laughs> That's remarkable out there, isn't it? No, that's the remarkable. <laughs> She's joking. The boys. Go on. on. Yeah. You ready, boys? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I say it every time. I don't know what I've signed up for here. Look at these boys flying down. You know we're going to be going a bit faster than that with Smithers on board. Oh, I can't video it because I've got two hands on the thing, but I was all I was in the lead the whole way, and then Smithers just ran oh, me off. He ran, <laughs> he ran me off the road, and some guy had to come and put me back in. Ah, oh, it's fun, but it's also raining. We've got two more runs to go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fucker! <laughs> I had a head start on Smithers on the last one, I thought there's no way he's catching us. He's still done us all, man. Home sweet home, I could just crack open a little fujaba. As you can see, I'm all over the place. I've got gear laid out to pack my bag to Auckland because I fly in the morning. I've actually got my laptop uploading footage for my editor to get onto the first YouTube video. This is probably going to be the last one of the road trip. Might make another one in Auckland, who knows. Uh, today was supposed to be like a little wind down chill day, but as always, we go 100 miles an hour. Also, definitely going to go for a few drinks with the boys because it's my last night with them. They are staying here. Obviously, Smithers lives here and Matt's staying here because they're going to Fiji for a week. And I'm flying back up to Auckland for a week to catch up with friends and have a little chill up there. So, let's see how tonight goes. <laughs> Matt's straight here. Go on, boy. Last night with the boys, come out for a real traditional New Zealand Kiwi meal, you know? The old Indian curry. <laughs> Look at Smith, he's waiting to tuck in. Go on, mate, you can go for it, like a dog. Go on. <laughs> Got to do a little taste test, don't we? We know a thing or two about a Ruby Murray. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, that's Boy, it's good. That's a bang. They've gone well there. Yeah. Merch, Masala, go down there. Queenstown. Yeah. Recommend. And just like that, the boys' trip is over. Yeah. Yeah. Did we rewrite the memories? Fuck yeah, we rewrote the memories. I feel like I left a little bit of me in New Zealand all those years ago and this trip was definitely me coming back to collect it. But all good things must come to an end and I'm back where it always seems to end. Just me, on my own, at an airport. This is the life I choose to live and I wouldn't have it any other way. So thank you so much for being a part of the journey. This one in particular to New Zealand, it's been one hell of an adventure. But for now, I've got another flight to catch.